Hey curl friends and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys how to create these DIY flower crown headbands on a budget. Literally everything in this video is from the dollar tree. Everything is a dollar except for the glue gun of course. This video is in collaboration with Crystal Michelle. She will be showing you guys how to style these headbands on her beautiful curly hair. So be sure to show her some love. Check her out. I love her channel. She does natural hair videos as well. And let's get started. So the very first crown that we're going to create is this wired crown. I grabbed these floral wires from my local Dollar Tree for $1 each. Using one end of the floral wire, wrap this floral wire around your head to see the exact circumference of your head. I wrap the excess wire around itself to create a nice sturdy base to add my flowers to. Measure loosely to add extra wiggle room for comfort when placing on your head. Grabbing my artificial flowers from the Dollar Tree, of course, I am removing the flowers from the stems. I want to get these flowers off of the stems first and then I will show you guys what we will be doing with those stems. So please do not trash them just yet. And when you're finished, you'll end up with this beautiful array of flowers and colors. And I went for this ABAB kind of pattern, alternating the colors. Grabbing my serrated shears, which were also from the Dollar Tree as well, I'm going to shorten these stems and reattach them to the flower. I wanted my flowers to be really really nice and short so I don't have a lot of extra wire to wrap. So I attach the flower to the wire and I'm just wrapping the stem of the flower around that wire. The great thing about using these artificial flowers is that they come with these stems that have a wire on the inside. The stems themselves are plastic but there's a nice wiring on the inside which allows it to be flexible and move around whichever project that you're working on. So I'm able to easily wrap this wire around the floral wire itself or around my crown. I'm also paying great attention to how I'm laying down my flowers. I want to make sure that they're all sticking out on the side so that when I place it on my head you're able to see the colors very very well. And this is my last flower that I will be adding to this little crown and it's a pink one. I'm just wrapping it around the flowers themselves onto the floral wire and this is the final product. This is one of my favorite crowns that I created for this project. Project. The next crown that we'll be working on is this floral headband. Now this one is a lot more modest, more of like an everyday wear kind of headband. I just grabbed some fabric headbands as well as some glue sticks and my glue gun. Everything's from the dollar store as well. I got four fabric headbands for one dollar. This glue stick roll is from Hobby Lobby. It's a long glue stick roll. I got it for about $1.99 and I'm just attaching it to my glue gun to get it nice and hot and ready. Grabbing those flowers that we detached from the stems earlier, I'm just cutting Cutting off the ends of those stems to make it more of a flat surface versus that bulky surface. And I'm just laying out my pattern once again. Grabbing my glue gun, I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to the back of the flower and attach it to the fabric headband. These fabric headbands are great for this type of project because you are using hot glue. You don't want to use a plastic headband. It's going to be much harder to adhere the glue and the flower to the headband itself. After I get my first few flowers onto the headband, I'm just adding glue to the headband itself and attaching the flowers where I like them and just filling up all of that negative space. And your headband is pretty much complete. Like I said, this is a much more modest kind of look to it. It's a more of an everyday look for the floral crown. Last but not least is my favorite one. I'm using a stretch headband for this particular tutorial and I got five headbands for one dollar once again from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use the same glue sticks and glue gun to attach these flowers onto the stretch headband. This is perfect for those of my curly girls that have nice thick curly hair which is really hard to stick any headband on any crown on. It's just a lot of hair in general. So this is one of my favorite tutorials here. Be sure to allow about an inch to three inches of space between each flower placement. That way you keep the stretchiness in the headband. If you allow them to stick too close together it'll make your headband super super tight and it won't stretch as far. So as you guys can see here my headband is able to stretch. I can stretch it around my head if my hair is pretty big one day or really flat and straight one day. So I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials. Be sure to check out Crystal Michelle's channel. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.